In this video, I'll be completing every single Bed Wars challenge. These challenges range from being very simple to an absolute nightmare and I'll be completing the next 7 challenges in this video. If you haven't seen part 1 of this series yet, the link will be in the description to better understand this series. But with all that being said, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, share the video around, and let's jump straight into it. Collect all wool colors and return them to your shopkeeper. You must win the game after all team members return all wool colors. For the first challenge of this video, it's actually a challenge I've done many times before, which is the collector challenge. And the reason why I've done it many times before is because in Bell Wars, if you complete five challenges for one of the weekly quests, I'm pretty sure you get like a free Bed Wars star, which is very helpful. And that person did hit me, but they did take some fall damage from it. I think I could probably kill them. Nope, but we did kill each other there. And right, now we have a round two. Never mind. He just fell into the void and made it very, very easy for us to break his bed. I'm going to try to eat just all of his items so he's forced to kill me. And my stone sword is better than his wood sword. GG's. GG's. Can I get some iron armor? I think I can. Oh yeah, we can't forget. We have to collect this wool. Let's get that aqua wool. And then once we put the wool inside here, it says I collected two out of eight wool, which the first one was mine and the second one was his. So we're going to have to get the rest of the wool now. And let's get sharpness. Since we're going over here, we could get green's wool right here. And we could also get yellow's wool since the team is eliminated. So let's collect this. And we're going to have to kill this guy really quick before we input the wool inside the um inside the item shop. So let's do that. And we could also get some protection. Alright, we're going to get green sped now. He seems like he's at his base right now. He did get a fireball off rip, so that means he won't really have anything else. And if I could get him here, I can't get his bed, but I was able to kill him. Now let's break his bed and eat that gapple. I am going to take his gen, so he kind of has to like be forced to fight me, or he won't really have much. And we did get him. We do have two more teams left, and I still have to get four pieces of wool, which is every other team that I haven't been to. Alright, we're at blue's base, and we're going to get blue's wool, we're going to get red's wool, and that should be six now. Yep, six out of eight. And the other two I need is pink and grays, I believe. Okay, guys, I didn't mine a gray wool from this bridge, but I kind of have to get pink's wool, and I'm really forced to fight gray right now to actually get to pink, which is going to be a little bit annoying, I won't lie, but if I play this right with my cards, I think I could take him out. If I could actually knock him into the void or just kill him, that works as well. And I can't really get his bed until I get the pink wool because I don't want to accidentally risk killing him or something. So we're just going to go up here. He won't be able to get up to me, so we're just going to go to pink space really quick. And then I should be able to get all eight wool, and then all I'll have to do is win the game. There we go, we got all eight wool ready, and now I just have to kill him. So I'm just going to get a bow, get some arrows, and get some fireballs, and hopefully we can kill this guy in one shot here. Oh, he went to get some diamonds. If I could hit this bow shot, that could be very nice. Nope, I did miss them, but it's okay. I'm just going to jump down, use my fireballs. He does have endstone on his, on his bed. I mean, I do have pot too, so I should be pretty tanky. Definitely more tanky than he was there because we were basically trading hits. All I have to do is just eat this gapple, and he is kind of just blocking his sword. I think he's just going to give me the win here. I'm very sorry, my friend. I feel very bad, but we did complete the first challenge. You can only purchase and pick up items made out of wood. You cannot use your ender chest. It isn't made of wood. Alrighty guys, we are now on the woodworker challenge and I feel like this challenge is gonna be somewhat tricky because I was just thinking about what I would be able to buy and I was looking at the shop and I realized that I can't even buy wool. So I really have to buy just wood blocks. I could buy ladders, but just go we'll probably get some ladders and I don't even think I could get better swords and stuff, so we're going to be resorting to wood tools and wood blocks for bridging. It's going to be kind of tricky, to be honest. I guess for now, I'm just going to purchase some wood and place it on my base. This is definitely going to be more of a defensive round, unfortunately. Honestly, I won't even lie, guys. I think iron is going to be completely useless since I already bought the tools I was able to buy. I don't think there's going to be much use for iron anymore. Okay, the good thing is that you could still get, like, team and solo upgrades, which is good. If you couldn't do that, then that would just make the challenge, like, 30 times uh, harder. Right now, since pink was somehow eliminated, which is the base next to me, I'm gonna try to get the pink space and see...
Okay, I made it to pink space and it's actually exactly 48 blocks if you want to bridge from your base to the cross space on on fruit bowl. I think this map is called fruit bowl. It's like a new map for the summer map pack of bowers. Now that we have 16 gold, I think I'm actually just going to use all of it on blocks because I was thinking about maybe using some of it on like a bow or something. But blocks are just extremely like important for me because I'm not really able to get much. So I think blocks is definitely the play. I'm also going to be slow bridging for like the entire game, mainly because I don't want to accidentally die again and just accidentally lose like all my blocks because that will just be devastating. But we are going to get back here and I could probably actually utilize my ladders if I just build up like this and then just place a bunch of ladders. So that's kind of sick. Also, I just realized it's a 1v1 me versus blue already, which is kind of wild. I think I'm going to get prot before sharp because prot is going to be just so helpful since I won't have like any extra armor to help me out. I also decided to get iron forge just in case if it would actually give me more gold because I would like some more gold so I could get a bow and some arrows so I could actually kill this player when I need to. So far my thoughts on this challenge is that it hasn't been tricky at all since I haven't gotten in like a single pvp encounter but if you have people like rushing you and stuff I feel like it would be much more difficult because you would not have any resources. And now that I have a bow and some protection gear, like I feel like I could definitely hold my own a little bit. I think now I'm going to get sharpness before protection too. I am going to use my team chest just to put iron in there. I forgot that I'm not able to use the ender chest, but I am allowed to use that chest. So that's still pretty helpful. Oh my goodness, he's invis. I see him. Shot him. Okay, he has diamond armor. That is kind of scary. Shot him twice. Three times. Four times. He is just going to be absolutely stacked out of his mind though. Okay, he he has so many gaps as well. He tried to shoot a bed bug at me. Shot him again. 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 Is the bow just that overpowered? I love it. Oh my goodness. Let's also kill your silverfish. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get prot 2. And then I'm going to just try and see if I can actually kill this guy. And get his base potentially. Alright, we got this guy coming back again. Shot him again. Okay, he got his own bow. I shot him twice though. Shot him again. Can I knockback stick him off? Please knockback stick. There we go. Beautiful. The only thing I think I could buy with emeralds is actually a punch bow, which is really funny because I was trying to look at everything in the shop of what I could buy. And emeralds are practically useless other than the punch bow, which is pretty funny. Okay, so we have this opponent right here. I'm going to see if I could just shoot him or at least scare him a little bit. Shot him again. Shot him again, shot him again, shot him again. I might just go in. He's at seven here. I think I could might I might be able to get his bed and hopefully finish this off. Shot him again. Shot him again. He's probably gonna jump in for it and try and knock me off. I need to hit my last few shots. There we go. He just walked off right there. I am oh wait, I can't actually eat just the emeralds. He did leave the game, so we did complete the woodworker challenge. That was a pretty funny challenge. I mean it was kind of a chill game and I got kind of lucky that everyone left like next to me like left the game or got killed quickly, but I'll take it. You cannot purchase any blocks other than sponge. You cannot pick up any blocks. Welcome back to the next challenge and we're actually on another new map. It's another summer special map and it's called Montiporia and I think this challenge is gonna be a little easier than the last challenge but it depends how much like sponge costs. How much does it cost? Where is sponge? Oh sponge is in here and it's only two gold and you get four blocks four to two gold and I'm already gonna lose my bet so that's just amazing isn't it? Okay. I love it. Okay, so the good thing is that I'm basically able to get everything else I would normally get. I just can't get other blocks, so that's kind of still helpful. This guy's just breaking the bridge. I don't understand what he's doing, honestly. I think this guy knows I'm doing the challenge, so he wants to make it harder for me by breaking all the blocks, which is just hilarious. Honestly, I'm now thinking about it. I don't know if sponges is not in the block category, because it's in the utilities category, probably because it has like some special effects, but I'm still not sure why it's not in the block category. Yep, he said gray. I know you're doing high pixel bed wars challenge. <laughs> yeah, so this person knows exactly what's up, sir. They are kind of trolling a little bit. This person's starting to bridge back to me, which is kind of funny. I am going to eat a gapple here. I don't really know what they have planned, so we'll see if it's worth it. And they built the bridge back. I am kind of confused, honestly. And are they going to go in the middle? 
I guess they are. I don't know, guys. I wouldn't call this teaming. I mean, I'm not doing anything. They are doing all the actions. They He broke the bridge. He remade the bridge. I don't know. Did he just drop me diamonds? Okay, this is kind of interesting. Did he pop invis, though? No, he disconnected. The player literally disconnected. You know what? I kind of feel bad, but I'm going to take this opportunity to get their bed because they did get mine. And... I do feel a little bad, but I actually want to advance the game and not camp on my base for the entire video, so... Sorry, my friend. I do appreciate the diamonds, but I I do not know what that encounter was. We are going to get some sharpness, though, and some iron armor, and let's get some protection. Honestly, my nine fireballs are going to be the lifesaver of this challenge. I, I hope so, at least. Oh, so sponges, they break after a little bit. That's why it's so tricky to use them, and that's why they're not called specific blocks, because they just break. Okay, let's do this really quick. I should be able to get to mid if I do it fast enough. There we go. And there are so many particles to where you can't see. I'm actually going to turn off my animations for this game. Just turn all of them off. Because, nope, it didn't, didn't even matter. Because these particles are actually really annoying. Oh, we got yellow right here. They are after me. Um, they did miss that jump though. I want to see if I could get some good knockback on them. Because I do have the knockback stick after all. There we go. Just knock them off. There we go. Also, if you guys were wondering, you are not allowed to pick up any wool blocks. It just won't let you. I mean, I'll test it right here, but that's what it said in the challenge. Yep, you can't pick up any wool blocks. Okay, so yellow's about to lose their bed, and I'm trying to fireball them off to actually make things much harder for them. Can I knock back him? Oh, I cannot. All right, Yellow's bed was destroyed, though, so that is quite solid. Okay, they might try going for this here. And I just knocked them off with the fireballs. Perfect. All right, the problem is that he has the one thing that's going to make this extremely tricky for me, which is a bow. All right, he is still going in with that bow. Can I knock back him off? There we go. He was not expecting the knockback stick. The knockback stick is actually clutching this. Look at how many fireballs he shot back up. Okay, we do have white as well here. I hope that he is not too stacked. We are actually really cooking right now. We have 14 emeralds that I've just not been able to use at all. Uh oh, he probably has another fireball, doesn't he? Yep, he hit, a, he hit the fireball and he didn't really do any damage. He is doing some crazy bridging, so we got to do some crazy part four. I think I should maybe go for his base. Yeah, he seems to just be bridging, so his base seems to be over here, so I'm going to just go for it. All I have to do is break it, and there we go. Now I have to get the um the diamond armor, diamond sword, and ender pearls. All right, you're not ready for this. Let's get that combo. Let's go, guys. That was a perfect execution to win that challenge. That one was really tricky at the end when everyone was fighting me. But we did complete it. That was amazing. There will be toxic rain throughout the game. Standing in the rain drains items from your inventory. The longer you are in the rain, the faster items drain. Alrighty guys, we are back with the toxic rain challenge. And I really don't know how this one's going to go. I don't know how powerful the rain is going to be because it does drain your items. So I'm going to get a little bit more blocks than normal. And I will get a pickaxe as well, and I'm just going to start bridging. This is also actually another new map, which is the... Wait, did my pickaxe already drain? Because I only put it in my E-chest. Where did it even go? Oh, there we go. Never mind. It was just glitched out. But yeah, this map, it is a new map. It is called Retreat, which is why you guys have maybe not seen it yet. Or you guys may have already seen it. But yep, my items are starting to drain pretty quick, actually. Wow. Okay, we are going to have to just get more blocks. I did not realize it drains that fast. Okay, he is bridging for me, which is kind of useful. But the rain is kind of annoying. It's kind of just all over the screen. They get a nice hit. There we go. And my blocks are definitely draining as we keep on going. I just want to trade, and I just walked off the map. All right, guys, we're back at it again with these items that are just going to keep going away. We did hit him already, so we did get him. As long as I keep my axe, then I should be able to take him out. Please, please. Okay, there we go. He didn't fill in the other block. I only have a wood sword against him, though. Can I kill him? I think I will be able to. There we go. That is the beautiful combo we needed. Oh, my goodness. That was a really hard first rush. Okay, so I'm going to get some iron armor. And I guess I'm going to get my tools back and just get as many blocks as I can. Because honestly, 
getting blocks is probably the best way to make sure that my items will not drain just having like a million stacks of them all right we did bridge a pretty good amount to green's base but not all the way i am gonna lose some items no i thought i did it well to where i wouldn't be able to lose items but i just started losing all of them that is so annoying i mean the only main thing that i lost was the iron sword since that is a lot of gold but the strat is to definitely get as much blocks as you can into your inventory all right green's already here i think we should just fight him and try to take out the bed honestly if we can there we go we are winning the fight we did get him so as long as i have the tools to break his bed i don't know what is on it but as long as we have it then we will be okay i wonder how he got over here he probably fireball jumped or something but let's place that block all right we do have our shear still which is good all right let me just break the bed that's all that matters and he is defending his bed but it didn't really matter my friend i'm sorry to tell you what if i get a gap and some stuff nope he respawned too quick i'm just gonna eat my gap because everything is gonna drain anyway never mind it didn't even want to work because it already drained i'm getting glitched in a block still what is happening hypixel like i know there's toxic rain but stop glitching me please i don't know hypixel was completely glitching me there i mean it, they still kind of are I, I saw green going that direction but i don't even know if he's still there or not uh, I do have four stacks of blocks. Hopefully that's enough to see if this guy's even at this base. I am going to eat my gap because I'm not 100% sure on where he is, but I'm pretty sure, yep, he is over here, actually. That's kind of interesting. Let's see, does he have fireballs or something? I don't know. I am getting kind of worried, though. Let me use my knockback stick really quick. And let me try to eat a gap as well. All right, gapples just don't work in toxic rain, guys. That is a conclusion I came up with. I only have a wood sword, so we're just going to jump down. Hope I get the combos. I am getting the combos. Okay, we just got the insane wood sword combos, but these diamonds are just gonna drain away probably, to be honest, are they? Yeah, they are gonna drain away. There's just no way I'll be able to save them, so... Honestly, I'm just gonna avoid because I'm not really in a great position. Oh, he's going to Green's Diamond Gen. Interesting spot, my friend. Alright, we're gonna get a bow ready. Hopefully he won't be expecting that. And I hope I have enough blocks to where I will be okay. I did pre-gap because it doesn't let me gapple in the rain, so I did do it in the shelter. He is over there, so this is my one chance. Okay, I think he's making his way over here, so... As long as I play my cards right, I should be able to take him out, hopefully. Okay, here we go. Got my knockback stick ready. I don't think he's ready for this. Does he have a pearl? He does not have a pearl. I think we did win that. GG's. That was not an easy challenge. It did require some defensive knockback stick measures, but... The knockback stick is the goal, so we completed that challenge. Every enemy team's bed needs to be defused before being able to break it. Once you defuse an enemy's bed defense, it will stay defused for 2 minutes. Alright guys, so for the diffuser challenge, I'm not sure how long it will take before I'm able to break the enemy's bed or how long it takes to actually defuse it in the first place. So we'll figure that out right now. The person actually just jumped into the void, so I'll actually be able to see. Click redstone. Wait, do you have to click all the redstone? How are you supposed to do that? That's a very hard challenge. I thought you only had to click on one of them. Okay, this is going to be very tricky. Let me see if I could start clicking on them. Um, Diffuse, 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 diffuse. There we go. Break the bed. Okay, that, that is actually kind of difficult. I won't even lie. But is this person going to swing their sword at me? Yes, they are. Oh my goodness. I didn't even think they were for a little bit. And can I get the last hit? I did get the last hit, but it didn't do enough damage. I'm sorry, but your time is up. You were definitely a good opponent because you actually reminded me how the Diffuser challenge actually works here. Honestly, compared to the last two challenges, this one I feel like I could play like more normal, like a normal game of Bed Wars. So I will say that I think I prefer this one over at least the last two, the Wood Challenge and the Toxic Rain Challenge, I think it was. Let's get Sharpness. All right, Green is here, so I don't know if I'll be able to do all of the Redstones in time, but I'm going to try it seems like they didn't even notice me until right now. That's perfect. We were able to get their bed. Wait, did we destroy it? No, I forgot to destroy the bed. I only defused it. Okay, that was kind of my fault. I could have just ended it right there. But as long as I still kill him here, then that is... Oh, he didn't expect me to jump on him. There we go. Seems like Aqua is going straight for my bed. And I'm going to be taking out their bed. So it's kind of going to be equal... And I can do, easily do the diffuser thing here. And now the purpose of this challenge is basically over with. And now we're actually going to have to just fight till the death. What's funny is that I probably could have avoided and been okay. But I didn't know how close he was. 
Okay, so I did go invis. This guy also went invis, so we're gonna get him out of invis so Aqua sees him. And now these two are gonna be fighting, and then we're just gonna clean them up. Alright, you're one hit. And where's the other one? You're right here. I think I could get him as well. He's trying to jump, but I have jump boost as well, my friend. GG's. That was a beautiful cleanup at the end, and probably the easiest challenge in this video so far, other than the collector challenge. You gain permanent mining fatigue throughout the game. If you activate a mining fatigue trap, you receive a greater mining fatigue effect. TNT and fireballs are disabled. So now we are on another challenge that relates to breaking beds. So we're going to have to see if we can kill this player right here. And one hit. Oh, two hits actually. Oh my goodness. Alright, well I can't break it too quickly because of the whole minor fatigue esco. So I'm going to have to at least kill the player, which is not going to happen probably. I mean, he is placing a lot of blocks. So we'll see. Oh, we did get the nice combo at the end. And I should be able to break it even with minor fatigue. There we go. Oh, let's just suicide. Okay, he just went in the suicide position. I mean, I'm going to take that free kill. Let's get some protection. Also, guys, you can't buy any fireballs or TNT, so we are going to have to break the beds how we normally would. And I kind of am sad that I can't buy fireballs because I literally use them for everything, not really just breaking beds. So that is a bit of a loss. TNT is not really. I don't really use TNT like often. I'm trying to take out green right now because he did collect all the M's except for the two I already have. He is trying to tower up, but I am going to just hit him off. And he is going to be very low. Yep, he's just going to drop all the resources. And just because of that, I'm going to have to take out your bed ASAP. He does have wool on it, though. I don't think I'll be able to break it in one shot because of the minor fatigue. Or actually, if it's just double wool like that, I can break it in one shot. And all I have to do is just finish him off here. Try to teach this person a lesson to not actually drop your stuff off into the void. Oh, my bed's about to be taken out. That's unfortunate. So I'm just going to work on taking out Gray's bed since they did take out mine. All right, Gray's bed is gone. Honestly, guys, this has felt like another normal Bedwars game. I really haven't felt the whole challenge aspect with minor fatigues. I, I've been breaking the beds perfectly fine, although I have been getting probably a little bit lucky, to be honest. Um, I mean, I don't have my bed right now, which is kind of unfortunate. But since I can't get any fireballs, I am going to get a Dream Defender instead. All right, I'm going to try and take out this guy now if I can. He probably knows that I'm in Viz, honestly, which is kind of unfortunate. But that's okay. Let me get some free hits. That's three hits. And I just knocked him into the void. Alright, right now Aqua's going to my base. And I'm not really sure why. I don't have a bed. So unless if they think that I still have a bed. I'm not there right now. So I'm going to be getting their bed. Hopefully for free. And kind of defeating the purpose of this challenge. It's kind of like just supposed to be harder for me to break beds. But since I've had full tools. And the people haven't really been at their bases most of the time. I've still been able to break four beds kind of successfully. And I'm going to get an invis potion and we could also get sharpness and protection too. Let's just have the dream defender all ready for him. And will the dream defender just kill him? Okay, that is how, how he's going to die. The dream defender is overpowered. Always use it, guys. Actually, don't always use it. I'll be very mad if you do, but we did complete that challenge. <laughs> Natural health regeneration is disabled. Golden apples do not provide health. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys have still been watching the entire video thus far, we are now on the last challenge, which is the UHC challenge. And it's probably not a good idea. I already took two and a half hearts, but that person just fell off the map. I couldn't break the bed in time. If I was able to, that would have been a free final. I'm just gonna eat just everything really quick though. Oh, never mind. He already left the game. So this challenge is a challenge that I feel like is literally meant for me, meant for my channel, the UHC challenge. And the golden apples don't even work. So it's technically not even UHC. It's an extra level of difficulty for UHC, which is not really something I'm used to. I mean, I do love me some UHC as you guys have seen on the channel like for a while now, but I'm not used to playing UHC without my golden apples. All right, I'm going to just knock Pink off. I did take quite a bit of damage, but I think they did get knocked off. Yep, I did see them go into the void. And I messed up on my hockey. 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 Oh, Yellow's at my base, and they just destroyed my bed. That is kind of unfortunate. 
Wait a second, I just thought about it. Now that that person destroyed my bed, I have literally no way of regaining health. The only way I think I was able to regain health is if I just jump into the void. But now that I don't have a bed, I can't regain health. So this person might have actually just destroyed this game for me. And I'm kind of scared because I've completed every single challenge in this video on my first try. And I want to complete this one on my first try as well. I really don't know what he's doing. He's just been staring at me for quite a bit. I have to be careful because I don't want to take much damage. He is only at 8, which is pretty decent. And he did fireball himself, so that's also pretty decent. He probably didn't think I had another fireball, but I do. And he's 1 HP, so I should be able to kill him. And I think I am going to bridge to his base. I might take a heart there. Okay, we didn't take any hearts. I have to be careful not to take too much damage from this. We're just going to try to use the knockback stick. And I don't know where he went. Hopefully into the void he did. High pixel was a little bit laggy there, I'm not gonna lie, but we are okay. I am gonna get sharpness, because I think that'll be helpful. And I'm also gonna get an iron sword, we'll, we could get some fireball action. Again, no gapples, and I'm pretty sure none of the potions give you regen. There's no um, other things that will help me, no rotational items or anything that will give me health. So we are not going to have any health for the rest of this match. So these nine hearts, I'm going to have to clutch the game out with these nine hearts here. So I've just been running around mid. Green has been chasing me and I am going to pick up all of these diamonds. Okay, they are still getting to me. I did take like so many hearts there. That's just so unfortunate. This is going to be so hard to complete, guys. Like, I feel like everybody's just after me. I mean, and I did kill that player right there, but I don't know, guys. This is going to be a tough one for sure. Okay, green disconnected, which is kind of unfortunate for them, but it is very fortunate for me because I should be able to just take out their badge because they were kind of a threat at mid. They also dropped all their M's, so I am very happy that the person did disconnect. So we're going to break their bed. We are actually looking very solid, even with us being at six and a half hearts. We are still looking pretty good. I could get protection to armor so we can get that cooking. Since we can't take that much damage, I'm going to get diamond armor to hopefully negate that. I'm going to get some water buckets. I feel like that's going to be really helpful to negate damage. So we're just going to be putting them all over the place. And we're also going to get some potions, so we'll get these ready. But yeah, if you guys have made it this far into the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share the video around if you guys are enjoying this video. These videos take so long to create, so I really would appreciate it. Although, I might be able to get a decent play here on red if they don't see what's up. Because pink just disconnected, so I if, I if I get red's bed here, then I could be cooking. So I'm going to try to get it. I, I have my pickaxe out. And, okay, I have to take my axe out as well. I'm not sure where he is, so I'm going to just use that really quick. And the bed is gone. He is over there, so I, I definitely see him. But I might actually be able to kill him. Never mind, that fireball just went in the complete wrong direction. But we are going to go for him here. And I am only at six and a half parts. So we're going to see if I throw this game. We did get some nice bow shots. Okay, and we got the amazing combo. And I think as long as pink doesn't come back, I think we could win this challenge on kind of an anticlimactic. No, okay, I almost walked off the edge, so maybe not anticlimactic. All right, Pink, I'm sorry you're not here to witness my great victory in the UHC Ultimate Challenge. But after I break this bed, it means I've completed every challenge in this video on my first try. So let's break the bed. And there we go, guys. I completed every single Bed Wars challenge, at least out of the seven we did on my first try, which is a much better track record than my first video. Because in my first video, I think I did five of them on my first try, and then one of them took me two tries. And then that Invisible Shop challenge, I'll never forget about that challenge. It took me over 10 tries. The worst Bed Wars challenge ever. Well, we don't know yet. We'll figure it out by the end of this. But I hope you guys did enjoy part two of beating every Bed Wars challenge. If you guys would like to see part three, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, share the video around. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.